everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and we've recently hit 200 subscribers on the channel here. So just quickly before we get into the video, thank you so much to everyone who is subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed, then make sure you go down in the description, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for those post notifications. Uh, but that out of the way, let's get straight on into the video. So, we've recently hit 200 subscribers and I wanted to do a little bit of a different video to what I normally do. I wanted to talk about how I actually got to 200 subscribers. So, I don't usually do this kind of thing on the channel, um, but it is a bit of a milestone on the channel and... I kind of wanted to help you guys as well, so if you're a small time YouTuber like myself and you're looking to grow your channel, maybe you're just starting out, then I've got some really good tips that you can use to help you grow your channel and uh, hopefully I can continue to grow this channel as well. So if you're like me, you are just sort of starting out on YouTube, uh, you've not got that many views on some of your videos, you know, your subscribers are quite low uh, and you really just want to boost that well I've got five tips here that will help you boost your subscribers so let's start it off at the start with number one so number one on my list today is actually just look on YouTube itself at videos that have a lot of views that get a lot of subscribers and the best way to do that I find is if you actually go on YouTube they have a button at the bottom for trending videos on YouTube at the minute and not many people actually use this button um, but it is actually really helpful as a content creator because if you go on here you can see the kind of videos that um, bigger content creators are posting that get a lot of views and the best way to use this is is look for trending videos that get lots of views really quickly so that get a lot of views in a short space of time but the other one is to look at trending videos that get a lot of views over a long period of time so they might get a million subs uh, a million views over a very sort of long period. I'm talking like a year or two maybe. Uh, but then there'll be shorter videos that you can get maybe a couple hundred thousand views on. And looking at some of these videos, you can try and replicate them yourself. I'm not saying to copy them. I'm not saying to download them and post them on your own channel because those things don't work. But I'm just saying take inspiration from those videos and try and make some of those videos yourself so if you see a car cinematic that you really want to make then have a go at making your own car cinematic so my number three top tip for you guys is actually make sure that your channel has a very distinctive channel logo and also make sure your channel has a really good channel art, something that will bring the viewers to your channel, make it feel like home for them, and make it friendly and a place that people want to explore. They want to explore your channel, they want to come to your homepage of your channel and just spend a little bit of time looking through your videos, looking for stuff that they might enjoy. Make it inviting, and the same with your logo. Try and make it something that will catch people. When they see one of your videos, they will see your logo, and they'll go, yeah, I'm going to go check out that person. And then when they keep seeing that logo, they'll be like, ah, that's that YouTuber. And the best software to use for this is a free online software called Pixel Editor. Now you may have heard of this, um, it's basically a free online version of Photoshop and it's not particularly great if you're a big time YouTuber, you probably steer away from this, but if you're like me, you don't have much money to spend on your channel and you're just sort of starting out, it is actually a very good tool that you can use. And you can also use this for your thumbnail images. All of my thumbnail images are created 
on Pixel Art Editor. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go and check out that for yourself. Um, but I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just telling you guys that it is a really good software and I definitely go and check it out. And linked in with that, I would recommend that you guys have a really good channel intro. So an intro that you can put at the start of all your videos. So as soon as that viewer starts watching that video, they will instant, instantly know the name of your channel. Just something catchy and short. And the best software to use for this, I found, is a software called Panzoid. I'll link it down in the description as well. And this is a free online intro creator. And the best way to do this, you can create your own intros if you want to, but it is quite hard. So the best way to, to approach this is there are millions upon millions of template intros created by really talented people on this website. And the best way is to find one that you like as long as the... Um, as long as the text fits your channel name and as long as it doesn't flip around too much and it doesn't have too much craziness going on then you can change your channel name really easily and even if you don't like the music you can swap it out for your own music so that's not a problem and then all you've got to do is render it and download it and boom you've got an awesome channel intro and it looks really effective and it adds a level of professionalism to your videos and finally i would also recommend that you make your own end screen so you may have seen at the end of some of my most recent videos i now have an end screen which has the subscribe button on and it says underneath subscribe it has the name of the channel on obviously moldy worm gaming and it also has two videos for the viewers that they can click on and they can continue watching some of your videos so um suggested to the viewer based upon other stuff they watch and also your next video your latest video that you've created on the channel that's always what i go with and so far it's really working out for me my next top tip is kind of a small one but it does help um if you're like me you don't always have the time to upload videos i sort of upload once or twice a fortnight if i can um but it's not always possible i'm at school and many of you small time youtubers may have a job or you may be at school as well and the best way to keep your viewers engaged so that they don't start losing interest in your channel is to update them on social media I have a Twitter, Facebook and Instagram page for my channel. They're all linked in the description of my videos and viewers can go and follow me on social media and when I'm not uploading, I do post uh, things about the channel, things that I find interesting and posting something on social media is what is a thing that most people do every day, sometimes five or ten times a day it doesn't take very long to do but it keeps your viewers engaged on the channel and i found that this really works out for me uh, for bigger youtubers maybe not so much but as a small time youtuber who can't upload as much if you post something sort of once a day once every other day it keeps the viewers engaged on your channel even if you're not uploading and it also means that when you're live streaming, you can get more viewers to come and watch your live stream because you can announce things. And also, if you've got a new video up, make sure you announce it on social media because then everyone who's following you will see that. Because not everyone puts post notifications on. It's kind of annoying. So if you let your viewers know on social media, hey, I've got a new video up, then they will go and watch that video you can link it on your social media as well and it's just a more effective way of advertising your videos my final top tip for you guys is kind of a cliche one but i do think it is good advice so i wanted to put it on here and that is make content that you enjoy Always make sure that the content you are creating is stuff that you enjoy because 
if you're making content that you don't enjoy, you'll get burnt out, you'll get fed up, you'll just not want to make content. And ultimately, that's not a good thing on YouTube. You need to carry on creating content. Even if you can't do it on a regular basis, you need to carry on making content. And if you're making content that you don't enjoy, you'll want to create content less and less. So make content that you enjoy making. All of my videos, I, I enjoyed making every single one of my videos. Just like this one, I really enjoy making videos on YouTube. And I always try to make it about something that interests me and something that will hopefully interest all of you as well. But that is going to be it for this top five list. I hope it's been helpful. And to all of you small YouTubers out there, don't give up hope because it's not easy to grow a YouTube channel, especially as more and more people are trying to do it. I've recently reached 200 subscribers. It's taken me a couple of years, but I keep trying and now I'm going for 300 subscribers. So keep pushing, keep putting out the videos, keep updating people on social media. Go and check out the intro creator and the free thumbnail creator that I linked in the description. They're definitely very useful tools as a creator and they're free as well. But thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful and to all of you, I'll see you next time.